perception and reality, right? So um, when you have an issue, you either have to change your perception of that issue or you have to change the actual issue. <laughs> Okay, officially welcome back to the Life and Business Hack Show. I am your host, the real Stephen Corcoran, and man, I have stole this guy from Arizona, Phoenix, to come onto this show. This guy has trained over thousands of individuals on mindsets, NLP, and have worked with intensively, intensively, and major breakthroughs with his clients. So I wanted to drag him onto here on this show. For you guys, I gotta say thank you so much, Quentin, for Coach Q for coming onto this show. Um, just a quick introduction about you. I just want to say thank you for coming on, first of all. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you for having me, man. Oh man, let's just dive right into the juicy parts of things if you're okay with that. Now, yes, indeed. I, I know some people on this call are probably wondering what is NLP and what has got you down this track to really master this crap. So can you kind of explain what NLP is and why we need to start doing it? Yeah, most definitely. So NLP is neuro-linguistic programming. And I know that sounds like just some crazy uh, foreign language right now to a lot of people. But basically, if you break it down, neuro is the brain, right? Your neurology. Uh, linguistic is your language, meaning communication, whether that be uh, self-talk in your head or if you're uh, outwardly speaking to others. Um, and then the programming part is going to be your habits because everything we do in life is habits. You know, you can have good habits and you can have habits that aren't serving you as well. Um, so that's what NLP stands for. And uh, you'll hear tons of different definitions of what it uh, means or what it stands for. There's a lot of them out there. Uh, the easiest way I like to explain it is, is basically using your brain to work for you instead of against you, using how your brain naturally works with through the five senses. Wow. That was a perfect definition. I could never sum that up in that way. What kind of got you on this path of going down, learning about this for yourself? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I've studied various modalities. Um, so back in 2009, I was introduced to personal development. So it's been over 10 years now that I was introduced to personal development. And as I was introduced to personal development, uh, I, I think a friend of mine gave me a CD from Jim Rohn, right? Oh, yeah. uh, so a lot of people know Jim Rohn, you know, he's, he's one of the greats that has since passed, you know. Um, but when I listened to the CD, I was just blown away by what he was saying. And I was really receptive at the time. And it was just like, wow, this is like really good stuff, you know. Um, so from that moment on, it really became a positive snowball for me. And I started getting into more books, um, started going to seminars, started really getting into um, you know, personal development. Um, as this happened, um, I decided in 2011 that I wanted to do this. Um, this is just what I wanted to do. I wanted to help people break through. And I started writing a book in 2011. Took me a while, but that's when it started. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I started writing it. And um, basically, fast forward to about uh, 2015, I, I ended up um, taking on life coaching courses and certifications. Um, and I basically started doing what I had been doing already, but um, just getting the actual education behind it. I was always one of those people where people could ask advice and, you know, I'd help them out with different issues. I was just easy to talk to, I guess. Um, but 2015, I decided to actually take it on and uh, really learn the skills needed. Got into life coaching and uh, started life coaching clients. And from there, I was kind of like, you know what, this is good. I'm helping people get through their life issues, relationship issues, business issues. However, I felt like there was something more. 
there was something missing. And I started really, really delving into what is it that creates personal change for people that last. And I came across um, a few different things, um, which I utilize now, like cognitive behavioral therapy, emotional intelligence. I think they all have their place. But for me, one of the most powerful things was NLP um, for lasting change. And um, the rest is history from there. I just keep learning and keep improving myself as well um, in the craft. Well, I think like the biggest takeaway there is you found something you were passionate about. You don't, you're not looking for the quick uh, change or the quick, this is the silver bullet. Something that actually keeps change and keeps you motivated, which you're always a student. That's why we always connected is even if we're at the top, one of the top of our games, which I see you as one of the top at the NLP game, is we're still a student. We're still learning. We're still trying to craft it even better. It's like, as soon as you stop, that's when you start losing it. And just to give you guys a perspective of the quality that we're talking to, you can tell he's an amazing speaker. This guy talks in front of stages of like a thousand audience. Like this guy is pretty well thought out. And I'm just super excited and kind of giddy, giggly about it. Uh, just to have him on the show here, which I'm super excited. Um, can you kind of like dive into like, what would be a good example of somebody who like realizes something's not serving them and how do they reprogram them or how do they identify this isn't serving me? How do I reprogram my brain so then I can actually find some service out of this? Yeah, yeah. I, I like how you worded that because you said when they, when somebody realizes, right? Um, and that's, that's good verbiage because sometimes people don't realize, and then you have to ask yourself, is there really um, a place for me to be able to help that person, right? Um, and my answer would be no. If they don't realize it, then they're not going to do the take the steps or the action um, that's necessary to change, right? Um, so yeah, there is the realization piece, but some things that I think might help someone realize is... Um, you know, there's, there's a uh, perception and reality, right? So um, when you have an issue, you either have to change your perception of that issue, or you have to change the actual issue, <laughs> you know? So it's going to be one of those two things when you realize that something's not congruent in your life, or you feel like, um, for some reason, you just can't, you know, get satisfied, you, you just can't seem to be happy you just things feel off that might be a time to say you know what maybe I need to explore you know and sometimes we don't know what we don't know um which is where the exploration comes in man that was action-packed and I love it um because if we don't realize it and even if somebody told us what we're our blind spots are we might not be receptive of it yet that's it's true like, you got to be in that right state of mind to realize and self-evaluation so it's really eq that kind of goes into it there you go there you go i once heard somebody say that um you know me as a speaker um what we want to do a lot of times in yourself too you love helping people and i see that in you um us as people who who serve others um and business owners right um, we want to help people and we want to help them in the best way in the fast way, fastest way possible. But um, a speaker uh, once told me, said, you know what? Um, he just has it in his mind that it takes 50 impressions to, to help somebody make a shift. So you have to realize that you might be number 17 today and another day you might be number 20. Uh, but then some days you might be number 50 and really help them make that shift. Wow. I never even took it, thought of that perspective. It's kind of interesting how you can hear the same thing from different people, but when you're not ready, that 50 time, like you said, it clicks. Yeah. As you guys can tell, this guy's world class, and I can't, I'm super excited to have him on the call here today. Um, so if somebody was going through it and they realized it wasn't serving them, what's the first thing they should do? Obviously, self identify why is it not serving me? But how do you, what's an actionable step that somebody, because people are on this call, they're like, okay, I like the idea of reprogram my brain, NLP. Um, mm -hmm. How do, what is the first thing? Okay, self acceptance, realizing it's not serving me. What's the next step? 
I would say, and this is where I start a lot of uh, my clients out, is um, just start paying attention to your language. Um, that's going to be huge. Um, and it's, it's a real thing. You know, you hear about people talking about affirmations and things like that, um, but it's not that in itself. Just start paying attention to your everyday language. What kind of words are you using when you start talking about yourself, the situations you find yourself in, and also pay attention to your metaphors. Um, for example, how many times um, have you ran into somebody and you asked them, hey, so uh, how's it going, right? And they say something like, oh, um, you know, just hanging in there, right? Um, what we have to realize is every time we use words, they create an image in our mind. And even if that image is a millisecond, you might not even realize that you had an image. Uh, our mind works in images, it works in pictures. So there's an image that's created and that image makes you have a feeling inside. Um, so imagine you're saying all of these words that are even metaphors hanging in there, uh, you know, just trying to keep my head above water, you know, things like that. We're creating these images in our head because what image pops up when you say try to keep my head above water? It's like you're freaking drowning, right? Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. So imagine you're using uh, words that are not serving you every single day and they're creating these images, which are in turn giving you these feelings and secreting these stress hormones in your body. And it becomes a cycle of image, uh, feeling, stress hormones. So then the more stress hormones you got, guess what? The more uh, images you're going to get and the more feelings you're going to get. It's going to be a vicious cycle. Um, so I, st I tell people to start watching their words. Um, and it's okay when you say something negative or you start using these metaphors because they're habits, um, it's all right to change it right then and say, you know what? No, I don't want to say that. I actually, this is what I want to say. Um, and then you start um, pruning, meaning getting rid of those old neuronal connections for the bad habits, right? And you start developing these new connections. Man, that was, woo! I'm excited for that. <laughs> that was that was pure gold. I didn't want to interrupt. I just was quiet because that tidbit, I've heard it and I, I forget where I heard it from. It's like any negative things you're thinking, if you say it, it's 85% chance you'll start actually just naturally, it'll naturally happen. Um, and I forget where the statistic came from. So don't hold me to those exact numbers. <laughs> um, it's the same thing would happen to me as well. Cause I, I was, I have dyslexia. I don't, I don't think I'm a great speaker, but I said, until then, or I started changing how I talk about it. I was like, you know what? Just because I have this, this is a power for me. This is a power mm -hmm. that I embrace. I'm like, I'm doing this not just for myself. I'm doing this for other people who have dyslexia who think they could never be a speaker or ever talk in front of a camera. Um, I'm doing it for them and I'm showing them that they can do it. So it's never about I'm a bad speaker. It's more about I'm going to be an amazing speaker. And this is for them as well. So there's a purpose driven behind it. Right, right. Even with what you're, what you're saying right now, um, you can even shift your language even more. But I like that you're not saying I am dyslexic. You're saying I have dyslexia. Um, when you say I am something, you're taking that as a part of you um, versus ownership, you know? But um you know, I would say like, I've experienced, you know, dysle dyslexia or in the past I've had, you know, dyslexic, you know, moments or whatever it is. So your language is so powerful, like, and it'll, it'll empower you or disempower you. Man, Whew. man, that was a gold nugget. Even you coaching me on that. Um, this is why I bring the experts on the show, like yourself, is because you guys get it. Like, I don't know all this stuff. You guys are the experts. I'm so excited that we're tackling this big uh, question that everybody has for themselves. And one question I have for you that I think is super powerful is, is like, before you have stumbled on this, have you noticed a difference since you've been reprogramming your brain and re really utilizing NLP? Do you notice your productivity? Notice your success? Do you notice a big dramatic change from that? Oh, man, where do I start? Um, well, you know, for, for those that don't know, when I was younger, I was running the streets. I was hanging out with gang members, um, uh, getting in fights, you know, <laughs> everything that kind of goes along with that. And, you know, my mindset at the time um, was in that in that life, you know, and one of the things that one of the quotes 
if you will, that I live by is what you focus on expands, right? We've heard that, what you focus on expands. So back then I was focusing on being the toughest, um, you know, being a great fighter and all these things. And yes, I was getting those things. People thought I was tough. I could, I could fight really well, right? Um, but once the shift happens, when I start getting into, uh, you know, speaking and personal development, that's my focus. So literally this, it seems like a past life to me. It doesn't even seem like that was me anymore. So it's so um, much of a, a change. You know, it's, it's hard to even imagine that I was, you know, in the streets doing those things. Um, because now, I mean, you look at it, um, best-selling author, speaker, um, coaching entrepreneurs all over. So it's like, it's night and day, <laughs> you know, there's been so many dramatic shifts, you know, and I had people, um, you know, and, and well-intentioned friends and, and family at times that'll say, you know, that said before, oh man, you know what? It, being a speaker is like being a movie star, they said. Like, that's almost impossible. Like, maybe you should just go to go to college and, you know, get this degree or that degree. And they're well-intentioned, but, um, you know, that's just not what I had my mind set on. So I've, I've seen a world of a difference. <laughs> well, you did a 180, exactly, from where you were to now, like, in such a short amount of time, too. Like, if you think about it, you go to school for four years and then maybe another school for another four years. Like you've been really looking at it and not listening to everybody. You realize your passion. You realize what you're going for and nothing's going to stop you. And that's why you're where you're at today. And that's why I'm super excited to get you on this. Now, I know a lot of people are going to wonder this question. And I like to ask this question is how do you get your hair so nice? Wh who, who does your hair for you? A good question, right? Yeah. Yeah. Look at little, that braid. Got a little something going. Yeah. So, <laughs> so actually, I have dreadlocks actually. So, um, and I get the the dreadlocks braided sometimes. You know, especially out here in Phoenix. Is you there know, a certain guy to go to? Like, who? um, they they're called locticians. Locticians. They do dreadlocks. And um, I have a loctician here. Her name is Jersey. And she's from New Jersey, that's why. And uh, yeah, she, um, yeah, she does a great job. So, <laughs> well, it's on point, my friend, because I've seen your Instagram, which I'm gonna link down below your Instagram, so people can follow you there. Uh, your Facebook as well. I'm also gonna add his website. That's where you can go get his best-selling uh, book. I, I'll let him talk about his book a little bit more here after. But also, he has a gift for you guys, which I'm super excited to share with you guys. He's the ultimate breakthrough guide. This basically, it's a really good resource that you guys can walk through and really have a breakthrough for, from it. Um, and as you guys can tell, this is a work, wor world-class guy. And I want to encourage you guys to go to his website, get that ultimate guide, really walk you through exactly how to get a good breakthrough going for you. And then also get his book. Um, kind of go over kind of like, the high level of what's in the book, just so people get enticed and go take action, because that's the biggest part. Yeah, most definitely. So cool, really cool thing about it is my co-author is my mom, who's also a speaker and coach. <laughs> I'll tell you guys about that on another session. But um, <laughs> basically, it's a daily read, and it has a journal in it. So you get one what we call meditative message for the day. So it's a message that you focus on for that one day. Because remember, you always want to prime your mind and focus on positivity and what you want, not what you don't want. So in the morning when you wake up or right before you go to sleep, you'll read the message and then it has a journal with you. So you write down your goals, action steps, um, aspirations related to that one message of the day. So it's like a hundred day transformation. Jesus. Well, that is action packed, guys. Make sure you get the book. I can tell you when you, when you journal and when you do the right mindset, you are going to see a dramatic change in those hundred days. And I guarantee you, you've seen people who've reached out to you and say, thank you for your book, or it wouldn't be a bestseller as it is. Um, one, before we end this, uh, this interview here, Quentin or coach Q, I know you like being called coach. Q. No, either one works. <laughs> uh, um, I, this show is all about life and business hack show. It's basically looking at what is one hack that has dramatically changed your life that you almost do daily to make mm -hmm. sure that you progress on the right avenue. 
And what would be that number one life or business hack for you? For me, it is focus. And I know that's kind of been a theme of today. So um, when I find myself getting off focus or if I'm watching the news too much, because what do, what do we see on the news now? We see a lot of negativity, a lot of sickness and things like that. Um, when you're just watching that and focusing on that all day, you're going to get more of it. Like we said, what you focus on expands. So when I find myself veering away from that, I dig deep into my personal development, meaning reading my books, listening to my podcasts, um, and also uh, doing my own studies and my own mindset techniques for myself. So it's not just for my clients. I actually do these things on myself as well. And I think that's 100% what you need to be doing because you got to make sure you're good to show up. You can't preach something that you're not doing. And I love yes, that. Indeed. I want to take, I want to rephrase a couple of stuff you said there. What you focus on is what happens. So if you're focusing on negativity, it naturally comes out. That is a gold yep. nugget in itself. So especially if you see yourself in a negative way, you need to reprogram yourself to think of yourself highly. You got to love yourself. If you don't love yourself, then it's going to be really hard to overcome that. Wow. Quinton. Whew. That was a, this has been probably one of my favorite interviews to this day. Yeah, um, it was the fun. Amount, the amount of knowledge you drop, man, like, and just doing it all from just the place of service that you do. I just want to say thank you for coming on the show, giving my audience amazing tidbits and really changing their mindset and teaching them about NLP, teaching them how to be a better person for themselves. So I want to say thank you for coming on, Quentin. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Anytime, man. And we're definitely going to be doing a lot of cool stuff together. So in the future, I guarantee it. Maybe ch share a stage or two together. Hey, I'm with it, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. We've been playing that for a while. So that's it for it today, guys. That is the Life of Ms. Hack Show. This is Quentin or Coach Q. Make sure to tap into, go to his website, check out his Instagram handles or his social media handles. Make sure you download that guide. Make sure you get the book. And let's see a dramatic change in your, in your mindset in the next 100 days. Okay, I'll see you guys later and see you on the next show.